a very warm welcome to Tech Mining. In this tutorial, we will create two dynamic actions named, Setup Timer, and Refresh Report. The first dynamic action will fire whenever the page item named, Refresh every 3 seconds, will change. And will invoke a plugin that either adds, or removes, a named timer that acts on the employee region. The second dynamic action will perform a refresh event on the employee's region based on the timer executing. The value in the current timestamp column will only be refresh when the checkbox page item is checked. Now let's get started. First, go to Shared Components. Click Plugins option. And create a new plugin from scratch. Type a name for your plugin. And enter an internal name. These internal names are used internally by Oracle Apex for identifying the plugin, and are not displayed. The internal name must be unique to your current application. Set the type of the plugin to dynamic action. The plugin will be displayed in the initialize category in the user interface. Copy the plugin PL SQL code from the source code provided in the video description. The code contains PL SQL function used to render a timer related dynamic action. The function initializes the necessary JavaScript library, sets various attributes based on input parameters, and returns an object with these attributes to be used in the dynamic actions rendering process. This PL SQL procedure or function name is used to be called to render the plugin. By placing a check mark on the following attributes, the dynamic action supports selection of these check marked attributes as the affected elements. Click the button Create Plugin. Scroll down to Custom Attributes. and click the button Add Attribute. Selecting the scope to component, the attribute can be defined each time the plugin is referenced in a component. Specify a label which is displayed for an attribute. Set the type of the attribute to select list. Under the static list of value, Click the button Add Value. The error occurred because first we have to specify a default value for this plugin attribute. The default value is used when a new component is created that uses this plugin. This text is displayed to the user. The return value is returned. Click the button Create and Create another. To create the second remove value, specify the return value for this select list entry. After creating the first attribute along with the two values add and remove, Let's add the remaining attributes. Specify the length that is displayed for this attribute. And the maximum number of characters allowed to type into this attribute. Select a condition type that must be met in order for this attribute to render. Enter the value in the expression attribute based on the specific condition type selected. Click the button Create and Create Another, to create the third attribute.
create another attribute, this will be the fourth attribute. Let's add the last attribute for this plugin. Here we have to add values to display in the select list. Click the button Add Value. First, we have to specify a default value for this plugin attribute. Now add the following values. These are the two values we added. Click the button Apply Changes. These are the five attributes we created. Add an event. We are adding this event to be displayed in the dynamic action events list. In the files section, click the button create file. And from the source code select the timer javascript file. This code represents JavaScript file associated with the plugin. This is the JavaScript file we've just uploaded. This URL provides additional documentation about the plugin. After creating the plugin and its components, create an interactive report page. Select the EMP table from the list. After creating the page, create a static content type region. Select the Buttons Container Region template, used to hold multiple buttons. And select the Template option to customize the user interface of this component. This will position the region body to no padding for the region, and will remove UI decoration.
Create a page item under this region. This is a checkbox group type, which displays multiple values as checkboxes, enabling the end user to select multiple values. List of value is required for items displayed as checkboxes. Hidden template is used when the label should not be displayed on screen, hidden is ignored for checkbox items because a label must be shown after the checkbox. The static list of value type is based on the text value you enter. And enter the following values for this static list of value. Set the default type to static value. The default value is used when the item's value is not derived from session state and when the source value is null. Oracle Apex displays an error message if a user tries to save data that does not conform to the selected character restriction, selecting this option, reserved HTML characters cannot be saved. In the interactive report region. Set source type to SQL query. And replace the default query with the one provided in source code. This SQL query retrieves employee data along with their manager's name and department name. It uses right outer joins to ensure that employees without managers or departments are still included in the result set. The current timestamp is also included in the result likely as a way to record the timestamp when the query executes. Under the Columns node, click the Current Timestamp column. And pick the following format mask to apply to this component. It is important that number format masks are only applied to components that contain numbers and date format masks are only applied to components that contain dates, otherwise a runtime error is raised when the component contains a value that cannot be converted using the specified format mask. Click the Dynamic Actions tab. Create a dynamic action on change event. The item selection type can be triggered by one or more page items and select the page items to trigger the dynamic action. The item equals value type checks if the value of the selected item is equal to the value specified. For action select the timer plugin we created, timer plugins are particularly useful for scenarios where you need to trigger actions at specific times or intervals without requiring user interaction. Specify if you want to add or remove a timer, if you want to remove a timer with the remove timer action, you have to specify a name for the timer when you create it. Set the number of milliseconds after which the timer should expire, there are 1000 milliseconds in one second. The timer can be fired just once or infinite, until you remove it with the remove timer action. For affected element select the interactive report region on the page. The fire on initialization specifies if the action fires when the page loads. Create a false action. The false actions are just contrary to true actions. Create another dynamic action. Select the timer expired timer event which we created during plugin creation, it causes the dynamic action to fire.
the action refresh triggers a refresh to the affected elements, elements other than interactive reports, classic reports, and all item types with cascading LOV, does not support refresh action. Save your work. Run the page. In the current timestamp column, refresh every 3 seconds is working. This loading circle is a refresh indication. If you uncheck the checkbox refresh every 3 seconds, the dynamic action stops executing and the current timestamp column becomes static. That's it for now. Hope the video was helpful. Keep in touch with Tech Mining for more new videos like this. Thank you for watching.